Hello fellow developers, welcome back to the Tech Rack Sheet. I am Amit. Today we would be exploring Project IDX by Google together. So what is Project IDX? Project IDX is a cloud product where you can write your own code. So how do you open that? So you are you gotta come here and go to this particular website IDX dot google dot com uh, this is a public preview although it is written as a public preview but this is a very close group of people who have got the access and uh, have access mil gaya hai. so after uh, waiting for a couple of months i got this access so here we can see a few templates new web app html css javascript based then new flutter application blank workspace import a repo i'll try that also in just a minute and there are a couple of things python go ai mode coming soon uh, let me check what they are offering here uh no it is opening i guess some issue tracker no i do not want to go there so this is the new web apps you gotta come here and uh, just let me put some react portfolio i can go create a react portfolio site maybe and uh, enable nix for this workspace so nix is something that they are tracking this the overall configuration of this um, code workspace here blank is basically html javascript and css uh, let me just create a react website not website react project actually so it is simply creating the workspace you will be given one virtual machine um, we'll see the configs also what are the ram what is hard disk capacity and all those stuffs so i don't want to cut it so that you can also get the fair amount of idea how much time it is taking so i won't fast forward it i won't cut it down i'm having a, a fair amount of speed for this particular thing so you can also hope this speed ah man who gives light theme come on man uh themes color theme ah now it's okay cool man i'm sorry for the light theme but this is fine now so yeah and there is a idx folder node modules public folder there is the source directory where you will be getting all the assets app.jsx and uh, package log package.json what are the packages they have given us react react dom type mm -hmm. lint configs pipe so this is a very good white based react project you can see white and uh, react so mm, this is a very basic boilerplate I'm gonna change something. Uh, okay, no, not here. I want to open here only. Yeah. Okay. So here, if I just say byte press react, uh, let me just say new byte app, and it auto saves. So new byte app. This is fairly speed. The speed is good. If I just want to open the terminal, I can I think control and tilde for the terminal. So uh, it is given a proper virtual machine for you. So you can see the React portfolio. This is a Linux computer, I guess. Nobody will be giving you a Mac, to be very frank. How many? There are a couple of terminals: Bash, JSH, TM, Tmux, and some of the other terminals also. Okay. So let me just see one thing. What is the RAM of the PC? So I do not know how to check RAM in Linux. Um, okay. Simply copy and then paste. Yes, I'll allow it for the purpose of my thing. Mem total is eight gigs, so eight one four one eight zero eight. So around 8 gb of ram you're getting with your virtual machine this is only for one workspace 
so also and to check uh, cpu cpu config in linux mm, ls cpu yes so here you can see you are getting a x86 architecture cpu this is 48 bits virtual memory and uh, some of the other configs also cpu family is 23 um gather multiple data and what else amd epyc the cpu model name i guess and what little indian okay cool this is a cpu and i was gonna check the hard disk config ish dd in linux df slash each df so you are getting fairly large hard disk 49 gigabytes then there is this 11 gigabytes others are some temporary file folders and you you have been given around 11 gigs plus 34 so around 45 gigabytes of memory in this virtual computer so this is fairly a good config computer you are getting with this project the thing is here i can't see any back button so that i can go to this home page so let me just simply copy it here and uh, reopen it i will see this one react portfolio workspace because i simply just created it now let me just do one thing uh, i'll open github and i'll just try to clone one repo so i was simply cry creating one this project this is our next js based project and import a repo this is my url then yeah it's a web app create private preview so you can see this is not really private uh, this is not really public nobody is this setting up the workspace again i'm not uh, cutting down the videos to just to make sure that you get the fair amount of time it is taking ah there is some problem man why 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 it me preparing vm there was some problem with google i guess for the preparation of the virtual machine but <laughs> you can see what is happening in the real life and whatever is happening here this is simply a vs code what you are getting you can think of this as a counter to the github copilot product you can think in that way so here you can see my clone here you can see my repo is cloned and uh, what i want to do i will simply run npm install so i'll check what is the time it is taking for my node modules to be downloaded this doesn't contain many node modules but you get a fair amount of understanding what it does so i think my node modules are downloaded so in the package this is a basic uh, next.js application jquery types jquery i am using in this project jquery and jquery ripples and just for the ripple effect although this is not uh, recommended but uh, for my project i did so in npm run dev okay <laughs> there is some lag but that's okay i typed very quickly ready in 3.1 seconds it is fairly fast i would say even in my actual computer it takes around 5 to 6 seconds so in cloud it is taking only 3.1 seconds so around two times faster compared to my own laptop say this is the this also not completely done but uh, 
you get what it does so what i did i have created an application then i cloned one github repo into this project idx let me just check what is happening with other other things also the new flutter app maybe uh, idx currently has a limit of two workspaces per user please delete one or more so okay this is limited so i gotta delete at least one workspace to check others i can delete this one so currently you are only having this limitation you can only work with two workspaces since this is only a limited edition with a uh, private preview so you can expect some of the limitations this is one of them you can't have more than two workspaces so now i think i can create the flutter workspace first app okay i do not know flutter much but i just want to ch check the environment what it does so because flutter is used for mobile application development so i want to see if they are providing some ios simulators or android simulators or something preparing vm okay this time that particular error that didn't come building your environment ho ja bhai jaldi jaldi hmm okay so if you think of other platforms like that is github copilot github will give you a complete virtual machine where you can code so why all these cloud platforms are emerging the idea is things are getting based on cloud so it doesn't matter how heavy configuration does your computer have or something if you have fairly good amount of processor fairly good amount of ram maybe 8 or 8 uh, gigs of ram you can leave all the processing to the cloud and that is the fundamental idea of things happening in cloud uh, i want to change the theme please please let me change the theme i can't okay some dark theme main dot dart so uh, there are some linux tool chains it is installing android tool chain so android sdks and some of the android studio is also not installed it is saying but man i can't do anything <laughs> you are setting up the platform for me i guess currently this is only given for web but uh, a very small boilerplate code for flutter application but uh i wanted to check where the simulation okay simulators are coming android what is android android gradle this is the android project gradle or something build okay for ios also we have something on a dot xcode project and xc workspace i think this can be open from uh, xcode in a mac but that's okay but right now i can't see any of the simulators but if you see here there is firebase already installed so okay google will intact all these things with the project so <laughs> all the cloud gcp and firebase related stuff you can expect here because this is coming from google so they definitely want to push their products yeah you can install your extensions also something like prettier when there is a very good code formatter you can install yeah it's installing this is a full fledged computer that is the fun part of it although they they doesn't provide you the whole terminal or the like the visually you can't view all the platforms or file systems but from this terminal you can actually go if i just ls all 
you can see there, there is this bin folder then home and all those stuffs let me just come back to my home here also you can see my app is there cool my prettier have been installed so that's how these things are working together you know the fun part is i can push i guess i can push some changes to my github so i have come back to the second project that i already had i think this is still intact i did not delete it did i delete that i don't think i have deleted it no i haven't okay so we have checked flutter so now the last thing i just want to push a little change to my github so i'll check if this is working perfectly but for that purpose what we need i might need to set up the ssh and that is not quite possible so let me just check what it happens what it does actually okay so here in the source I'll simply go here app ah this is taking a little lag all right so here if I just simply want to from a full stack developer to front end developer and simply um, it is auto saved I guess so here there is a source control and what I want to do I want to open the terminal and I just simply want to check the git status yes there is one modified and I haven't staged it so git add dot now git status now if I just want to git commit minus m mm, dummy commit to git push origin let me check what happens the extension github wants to sign in using github okay let me just sign in copy and continue on github your code navigate to github and paste in above one time code github okay okay continue device activation cool congratulations you're all set okay thank you very much i simply want to push it push the changes cool the change is post yeah <laughs> in github you can see my dummy commit although this is a very small commit full stack to front end but yeah that's how you can connect your repo and from that project idx workspace you can change your code base you can commit the change to the origin or you can push the change to to the remote branch and that's how things will be working all right i think this is it for this video and uh, i just i have shown you what is project idx and few of the stuffs with this limited preview edition i hope you enjoyed the video so if you do then please give it a like and thank you for watching subscribe if you want to see more content thank you very much